let's talk about object oriented programming or OOP for short. Procedural programming is about writing procedures or functions that perform operations on the data, while object oriented programming is about creating objects that contain both data and methods. So object oriented program is a much, much more um, modern way of writing programs. Object oriented programming has several advantages over procedural programming. One, uh, OOP is faster and easier to execute. OOP provides a clear structure for programs. So programs are, are, are usually a lot more structured with object oriented programming and OOP helps to keep the Java code dry, which means don't repeat yourself and makes the code easier to maintain, modify and debug. And finally, OOP makes it possible to create full reusable applications with less code and shorter development time. So let's talk about classes and objects. So classes and objects are the two main aspects of object oriented programming. A class is a template for objects and an object is an instance of an example of a, of a class. When the individual objects are created, they inherit all the variables and methods from the class. So here's an example. So we have a class fruit, which is a general concept. It doesn't uh, refer to a specific one, but um, apple, orange, and raspberry are, are actual specific fruits. So that's why a class, a fruit can be a class and the individual fruits uh, can be objects. So let's talk more about classes and their features. Uh, some of the things are gonna sound very um, theoretical, but when we do more examples, you're going to, these ideas will solidify further. So classes are templates or blueprints that specify how to build objects. Uh, Well-designed classes group logically connected data with methods for acting on the data. A class is a logical abstraction it does not cons it does not exist itself uh, uh, methods and variables that comprise a class are called members of a class and instance variables or variables are called attributes which usually hold data and methods are called behaviors uh, which act upon data they can access data they can manipulate data and objects uh, objects are instance of a class or members of a class. Uh, a class can be used to create any number of objects, all of the same form, but possibly containing different data. A class is a logical abstraction, whereas an object is a physical representation of a class. When we say a physical representation, we, we usually refer to that uh, objects take up memory space in, when you're running your computer, whereas classes do not take memory space. 